In this video, I'm going to build this picture frame with a removable pane to display my son's Minecraft beat pictures. It started out as a simple project, but turned out to be one with a lot of learning opportunities, which is a nice way of saying I made a lot of mistakes. So stay tuned for the what I learned section later on in the video.
I wanted this to be a project using mostly hand tools and I had recently got a Stanley number no. 4 smoothing plane and a Stanley low angle jack plane and I had been dreaming about using those planes for getting a smooth silky surface on this wood. Well, it turned out that neither my skills nor my tools are sharp enough yet. So I have to sharpen those plane irons and this is something I have to practice because I haven't done it that often before and I have to learn a lot more about using those planes and about looking at the wood and finding out which direction the grain runs in because while it worked on some of the pieces, smoothing them, it didn't work at all in others because probably I ran the plane in the wrong direction and then tore out some grain instead of smoothing the surface. So there is a lot more to learn before I can think of using a plane instead of a sander to get a smooth surface. The second thing that I learned is that I have to think a lot more about the order in which I do things. Um, I had thought that I cut out the rabbit and then afterwards I smoothed the surfaces with the plane. But once the rabbit was in, the, the pieces were not easy to secure to the workbench and it was very difficult to actually get them in some shape so that I could smoothen them and run the plane over them. So it would have been much easier to smoothen them first and then cut out the rabbit afterwards. The same thing with this small groove that this pane runs in. I cut out the rabbit first and then cut the groove. But of course, again, while the, groove, uh, while the rabbit was not in the pieces yet, it would have been much easier to cut that groove because then these work pieces wouldn't have been so shaky on the table saw. So for me, the learning experience was think a lot more before you cut. Or basically, as probably everybody knows except me, think twice, cut once. A third and very encouraging thing that I learned on this project was that even if it looks pretty dark in between, um, there are almost always ways of fixing things. So this was a project that was supposed to be a quick project for an afternoon and then I ran into a problem and then I didn't have much time anymore and it lay on the bench for a couple of days and then I went back for half an hour and didn't have that much time again. and. Well, basically, at, in between at some point, I was sure it was never going to get finished. And then I made mistakes and did things in the wrong order. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just throw the whole thing on the scrap um, heap. But finally, I did manage to get it done. And basically, that's something I really like about woodworking. If you make a mistake, there are almost always ways of fixing it so that you can actually get the project finished. If you like this video, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up, if you share it with your friends, leave a comment, and if it's your first time here and you like what I do, if you subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to create more content. Here's another video that you might be interested in, so I hope to see you back soon for the next step on the woodworking journey. Bye bye.